the number of cubic yards of dirt, D, is needed to cover a garden with area A square feet is given by D is equal to G of A. A garden, so letter A, a garden with area 5,000 square feet requires 50 cubic yards of dirt. Expresses information in terms of the function G. All right, so um, let's first detail what this expression means, okay? So here we have D is equal to G of A. So I have different ways to interpret it at the bottom. These three ways to interpret the function differ on their level of detail. Ultimately, we want to understand the terminology in the, in the richest context possible. All right. So at a bare minimum, this is read as D is a function. Okay. G is a function. You might say, well, I'm used to seeing F. I know. But they said in the, in the problem, they said a function G. Okay. So just interpret G as, an, as function. So this is, can be interpreted as D is a function of A. Easy enough. Well, now what does D mean? And what does A mean? Okay. Well, D represents the amount of dirt and A represents the area. So in a richer context now, I can say that the amount of dirt is a function of area. Okay, great. How about even richer still? Because what, how is the dirt being measured? How is the area being measured? Well, so now I can say that the amount of dirt in cubic yards is a function of the area in square feet, okay? And that is the best way to interpret this, the richest context. So now all we need to do, remember the units for dirt would, uh, is, okay, cubic yards, and the units for area here are gonna be square feet. So in letter A, they said a garden has an area of 5,000 square feet and requires 50 cubic yards of dirt. So basically all we need to do is make sure we have the appropriate units, which we do, and then we just can simply plug in these numbers into our equation here, okay? So for D here, I'm gonna I would plug in the number 50 because 50 cubic yards represents the amount of dirt. And that's a function then of the area in square feet right, and the square feet that they told us was 5,000. So now for A here, I'm simply gonna plug in the value of 5,000. And that's it. That's how you would write that formula out. It's so simple, but in terms of interpreting this, it's actually quite challenging, okay? So now letter B is going to say, explain the meaning of the statement G of 100 is equal to one, all right? So again, same thing now. I'm going to start with my general function here. Oops, that should be an A in there. And now remember, this represents the amount of dirt, okay, in cubic yards. This is a function, and then it's a function of the area in square feet. So what I realize is that this equation is very similar to this. I notice I'm looking at the position of the G. The only difference is that this is kind of just flipped, right? The G here is on the left-hand side, and now it's on the right-hand side. So uh, what I'm going to do just for consistency is I'm going to take this equation and flip it around. All right? So this is now 1 is equal to G of 100. And now what we can do is we can interpret this appropriately. So basically the D here okay, represents the value of 1, and the A here represents the value of 100. So remember... D represents the amount of dirt in cubic yards. And how many cubic yards of dirt do we have here? It says one, right? So let me write that down. So one cubic yard, so I'll say one cubic yard of dirt, right? I'll say now is needed, okay? Is needed. Why am I saying this term? Because I'm looking at the at the problem. It says it's needed to cover a garden. So I'm kind of using similar terms there. One cubic yard of dirt is needed to cover a garden. A garden with how many square feet? With 100 square feet. Or I should say not, well, I could say with or of here. I don't know, it needed to cover a garden with, yeah, no, with 100 square feet. Or you could use the word of, it really doesn't matter. 
Um, but in any case, this is the way to interpret that statement. Okay, so from such a very simple equation, we get a lot of rich context from it. That takes a lot of practice. Okay, in order to um, in order to understand all the meaning that's behind, you know, the these uh, these couple of, of brush strokes here, G one hundred and one. Okay, so hope this helped, guys. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you out with the next question. Take care.